Hi everyone, Richard Robbins here helping you build a highly productive real estate business that you love. I want to talk about the whole concept of influence or sales. It's interesting, but if you look at sales, and by the way, you're a salesperson, whether we want to admit it or not, that's what we do. Well, what is your objective? Well, your objective is to influence other people. You want to influence people to make decisions that are in their best interest. Well, I've had the good fortune now of viewing hundreds, if not thousands of listing presentations. I've seen so many over the last almost 30 years. But here's what's interesting. When I look at all of the great presentations, what I found is they have one thing in common. They use a lot of visuals, but the visuals have contrast. Now let me explain that. First of all, visuals. Why are visuals important? Well, visuals are important because human beings process visuals 60 thousand times faster than text. Now, that's why Instagram is a big deal. Facebook, there's pictures everywhere in Facebook. The same with Twitter, right? So if you even look at social media, you can see people post pictures more often than anything. Why? Because pictures were the thousand words they say, but it tells a story. But then the whole concept of contrast comes in where we're going to influence somebody, where we're going to show them one thing and we're going to show them something else and there's contrast where all of a sudden you're telling a story. So let me explain what I mean. Let's say your MLS board reports and you can figure out these numbers. The average real estate agent is selling say six homes, which by the way is the average six homes. And let's say you're selling 18, 20, 24, 30, 150, whatever the number is. Can you imagine that you have a visual in your presentation and it shows six homes, right? And then right beside that it shows 24 homes or 20 or 18. See that's contrast. Somebody sees, well six, that's not that many. 24 is a lot more. What about this one? You know, say our marketplace right now, even though the market's pretty good, they think everything is selling. We all know that's not true. You show them, you say only 62%, you got a bar graph, 62% of homes are selling. Well, guess what? I'm selling what? I'm selling 92% of mine. So what you want to incorporate into your presentations, first of all, a lot of visuals. Stay away from text. Use a visual where you can show them a visual and explain what it means. And then what you want to do is make sure your visuals where you can have contrast. Here's another great one. What about this? You show unstaged home, staged home. Imagine this. This home was listed right here, unstaged, okay, for five months and never sold. And this home right here, I listed, I staged it at the same price and it sold in five weeks, four weeks, three weeks, whatever the case is. See that creates contrast. Now what's happening is people are watching and they're learning. So they're understanding at a much deeper level and it's going to improve your presentation without you having to talk as much. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you and remember, it's a beautiful life. Make it count.